What's up everyone? We are back for another Pokemon unboxing and today we have the Charizard UPC box. So I've already opened the new 151 UPC and recently I just opened the celebrations box. So this is my last one for now. So hopefully we can get some more epic pulls from this bad boy. Before I dive into the unboxing, I need a little bit of help from you guys. I have this sealed Battle Mind theme deck for Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds. And I don't know if I should open it or keep it sealed. <laughs> the box itself is actually pretty damaged, but it's from 2019, it's sealed, and there's obviously a really cool Mewtwo card right here that's just begging for me to open it. <laughs> but I just don't know if I should or not, or if I should actually keep it sealed, even though the box is pretty banged up. Okay, so I hope you can see everything that's on the back of the box. This is showing everything that we're going to get inside the box. I really just want to crack open into these packs and see if we can get some juicy bangers. All right, here we go. And the artwork that they did for the design of this box is absolutely incredible. I love it so much. And I mean, who doesn't love a awesome Charizard, honestly? So yeah, we got Fusion Strike, a couple packs of that. Evolving Skies, okay, one, two, three. Okay, so only three Evolving Skies. One Vivid Voltage, one Darkness Ablaze. I don't remember if there's more, there should be more, oh yep, there's more packs in here, awesome. And we have the promo cards as well. So I'll quickly open this for you guys. Oh, okay, baby, here we go. I love this one actually, it's so just beautiful. And I love that there's a Venusaur in the back as well, that's so awesome. All right, so we got this Charizard promo. We've got this one, the, yeah, Guy, what is it? Gigantamax, there you go. So we've got that one, and we've got this one, and I really want to get the card that goes with it, where it's um, from Mewtwo's perspective of him sending the blast up to Charizard. Really want to get that card and grade both of them as a set. And we have a code card here, which I do not want, so please enjoy. All right, I'll put those promos to the side. We have some more packs. All right, so what's in here? We have Lost Origin, one, two, okay, two of that. Oh, Astral Radiance, one, two, three. Would love to get either the Typhlosion or that Trainer Gallery Starmie, where it's got um, Misty and Starmie in the back. That would be so awesome. Brilliant Stars. One, two, okay. Oh, yep, three Brilliant Stars. Okay, awesome. So we've got plenty to unpack, unpack here. So yeah, let's do this, people. So if you guys want a more detailed explanation of the hit cards or the chase cards that are in all of these packs, I do highly, highly recommend that you check out the video from PokeRuzz. I'll put it in the description below. It was very, very helpful for me. He goes through all of the cards that are kind of the top tier cards that you want to get in these packs. And he just, um, yeah, is an awesome dude. So yeah, I'll put his link in the description below. So definitely check out that video if you're interested because it was very detailed and it was just an awesome unboxing video so shout out to PokeRuzz for that and he's a fellow Aussie TCG collector as well so yeah he does awesome videos both Pokemon and Dragon Ball maybe some other stuff I'm not sure but they're the main ones that I like to watch anyway okay so let's focus on these cards we have some water energy oh we have a Haunter very nice so this was a pack of Lost Origin by the way I forgot to mention that and again, if I butcher the names of these Pokemon, I do apologize. I've mentioned a few times before, I'm not that familiar with the newer Pokemon. So yeah, sorry guys. Oh, 
A Radiant Steelix. Wow, okay. That looks pretty dope. Awesome. I'm really happy with that. And that was just one pack. And I'm sure by now you guys have probably heard the very unfortunate news about the voice actress who played the OG Misty in Pokemon back in the 90s. Um, unfortunately, she did pass away the other day. Um, from what I understand, she was battling uh, cancer. And yeah, unfortunately, um, it yeah was too far too gone. So yeah, really, really sad about that. I really loved her voice acting and especially for Misty. Like I really just remember loving um, Misty as a character and just appreciating how she did her voice. Like it just suited her character so well. And she also voiced Jessie too from Team Rocket. So yeah, really, really bummed about that. Um, and yeah, because of that, it has made me want to actually collect more Misty cards in particular because some of the artworks for those Misty cards are just absolutely beautiful. Uh, in particular, that trainer gallery one I was talking about before. So, yeah, it's um, yeah, very, very sad. And I'm sorry if um, you weren't aware of it and this is the first time that you're hearing about it. But yeah, um, very, very sad. Yeah, um, very unfortunate about that. So, yeah, rest in peace, Rachel. Okay. One, two, three... Four. All right, so this is a blister pack of Astral Radiance. So, yeah, <laughs> I brought that up because, oh, Quilava, very nice. Um, yeah, I just brought that up just to obviously pay my respects to her, but also to, um, yeah, just flag that the trainer gallery card where it's Misty and Starmie is in the set Astral Radiance, I believe. So yeah, it would be really sweet to snag, on, snag one of those today. I guess not in this pack. <laughs> That's okay, no worries. All of my prayers and best wishes definitely go out to her and her family at this time. All right, so sorry if that dampened the mood for you guys, um, but like I said, I just wanted to kind of pay my respects to OG Misty slash Jessie. So yeah. Okay. There's the code for you guys. One, two, three, four. Alright. Fighting energy. Switch cart. Cricket tune. Wait and see turbo. That's a cute card actually. I like that one. Sneasel, Mistrevious, Barbouch, Barbouch, Scyther. Oh, we got a, I think it's Reverse Hollow Rapidash. Oh, we Weirdy? What? Weirdy? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. A Weirdy V. Very, very nice. Oh, is that a different colored code card? Hmm, okay. One, two, three, four. I'm still getting the hang of that <laughs> that card trick. Because <laughs> I know with certain sets it's different. Some it's just one, some it's three. With this one it's four, so yeah, it's kind of hard to keep up sometimes. <laughs> All right. Rowlet, so cute. Quillfish, Oshawott, Regice. And Yursa Luna. Okay, now we're on to Brilliant Stars. Let's see if there's anything juicy in here. There's the code. One, two, three, four. All right, we got Grass Energy this time. Reveal. Again, sorry if I'm butchering these names. Cafe Master. 
magma. <laughs> Just not gonna try, man. Just not even gonna try. Oh, star you. Awesome. Finally, someone I recognize. Mincino and Wormadam. I would love to know what you guys got from this set if you guys have opened it as well. If you got any of the awesome chase cards or if you got something that you really, really wanted to get and you, yeah, we're just over the moon with it. I would love to hear your awesome pool stories. All right, we got lightning energy or electric energy. Clang, Gabbit, or Gabbit, Torkoal, Cubchu, Duskull, Farfetched, that's a cool card. Execute, Sneasel. <gasps> oh my goodness! This is absolutely stunning. And the crazy thing is, I bought this as a single the other day. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I bought it as a single, but I think it was only five or 10 bucks because it was pretty curved, but oh man, this is, this is so cute. And, and it just means so much more to me that I pulled it myself. So, oh my goodness, that is so precious. I absolutely love that. Hopefully the back is, okay, there's a bit of like fluffing on the edges around here. Other than that though, I think it's actually pretty good. I would really, really love to just get a mad hit from Evolving Skies, to be honest. Um, either the, I mean, there's so, there's so many actually. Um, I wouldn't even know where to start, but a Sylveon would be nice. Obviously, that Moon Umbreon one would be really cool, but if not, just anything that just, I don't know, like a full illustration or just anything that looks pretty and cute, <laughs> that would be, that would be nice. All right, Pink, Spirit Tomb. Mm, I don't know how to say that one. Ax Ax Axel, Weevil. And Wormadam, again, <laughs> I do like the OG ghost family of uh, Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. They're pretty sick Pokemon as well. So, yeah, I've got so many favorites actually. Um, but one of the top, obviously, is Lugia. I've mentioned that plenty of times. Um, but yeah, I also, yeah, I really like, uh, well, Cyndaquil is actually my favorite starter Pokemon. So all of his evolutions are also my fave as well. And uh, Dragonite, yeah, the ghost, like Ghastly Haunter Gengar, Raichu, Scyther, even Nidoking. I remember having a soft spot for Nidoking when I was a kid, played with him a lot. So yeah, there's, there's quite a few. That's a really cute Meryl card, I love that. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments below what your favorite Pokemon are. I love um, sharing that together. All right, we've got a reverse Hollow Vulpix. That looks really beautiful as well. Oh, and we've got a Cinderance V. All right, I will take that for my first pack of Fusion Strike. <laughs> yeah, I think next time I'm about to open some Pokemon, I will actually um, look into the set and the Pokemon that are in it first just to get a bit more of a better idea of the newer Pokemon that are in there but um, yeah like I said for this video it was very helpful to watch Pokeruz's unboxing first so yeah Pokeruz you did an amazing job with your <clears throat> Charizard UPC unboxing and explaining all of the cards and everything so if you open any more sets like that, it would be awesome if you could do that again, of just breaking down the cards and everything, um, and what's like ideal to pull. That was yeah, very very helpful. All right, we got more Petco, so adorable. Oh, okay, we have another V, very very cool. All right, this is the last pack for Fusion Strike. There's the code. Two, three, four. Oh, 
Nope, that was five. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. Energy. Boom. Darkrai. Boom. <laughs> Croconaw. Elisa's Sparkle. Toxel. Staryu. That's a cool Staryu card, actually. I like that. Makuhita. Panpaw. Phantump. And Mel Metal. Hollow. Hmm, pretty cool. Alright. Oops, that was upside down. Code card. I've noticed that the codes, there's either a white border or a black border. So, actually, you know what? Don't even tell me which, um, which is a hit or not. Because um, I actually don't want to know. I want to be surprised. <laughs> Alright, so Nuzleaf. Memory Capsule. Execute. I mean, eggs are ugly, actually. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was a, a lame dad joke. <laughs> Colopus. Skiddo. Shupit or Shuppet. Electric. Uh, uh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> and Terrakion. <laughs> Code. One, two, three, four. Yes, should still be four, I think. Yep, oops, don't do that. Don't reveal anything. I want to be surprised, people. <laughs> Alrighty. Fletchinder. That's a dope card, actually. Hiding Energy. Torchic. Rikidi. Teddy Ursa. Such a cute Pokemon, man. <laughs> Panpaw. Shelmet. Doug Trio, alright, and Swarna. The moment of truth people, we are up to our three packs of Evolving Skies and this may be the only time I get to actually open this just because of how ridiculously expensive it has gotten over time. So yeah, hopefully we can get something really epic because I really don't know if I'll get the opportunity to open this set again. I hope so, but yeah, the price is insane right now, and it's probably only going to get more higher over time. So there's the code. Should still be one, two, three, four. Okay. Yep. Alrighty. Water energy. Lumbar. Fletchinder. Lantern. Nicket. Lily Pup. So adorable. Hippopotas. Phoebus. Oh, ooh, okay. Gossifleur. Shopping Center. Wow! No way! Oh my goodness! Flareon V. Wow. That really pairs well with the other Flareon that I got from, I think that was Brilliant Stars, I think. Oh my goodness, I don't know how much this one's worth, but hey man, I'll take anything. And these Flareon cards are just absolutely beautiful, especially together. Jolteon was actually my favourite Eeveelution when I was a kid, but now looking at these, I think I... I think I might have more of a preference for Flareon now because it's just absolutely beautiful, isn't it? All right. Oh, okay, so did the other, I don't even know now. With the border color, I don't remember what I got in the last pack, but let's just be surprised, shall we? Hopefully something good. All right, Spirit Mask, Gordy, Braviari, I think that's how you say it. I think I always get that one wrong. Teddy Ursa. All of these Teddy Ursa cards in each set that I've pulled are just absolutely adorable. Ooh, Hitmonchan. That's a dope card. Cutie Fly. Skiploom. All right, come on, baby. Ooh, Milotic. That's okay, I actually like this Pokemon too. Really pretty, so 
All right, I'll take that. No worries. Oh, okay, and we have one more pack of Evolving Skies with Rayquaza on the front. All right, fingers crossed, people. Please pray for me. <laughs> I think with the fact that Evolving Skies has just blown up in price, I do think that buying these boxes, as in the Charizard UPC, I honestly think you really do get your money's worth out of it, just even with Evolving Skies alone. But yeah, if you guys can open it, um, definitely, yeah, give it a go. It's been really fun doing this. And yeah, you could potentially get some real juicy bangers. So, and it's not too expensive, I don't think. I think it's still roughly like 250 or something. So yeah, it's not too bad. All right, we're approaching the last cards. All right, Mari. Come on, baby. Oh, what is that? This honestly looks exactly like that annoying toad thing that came out when we were kids. It was like, like that, that thing. I'll put a picture here so you know what I'm talking about, but doesn't it look exactly like it? <laughs> I can't believe this is a Pokemon. Oh my goodness, that was, that was such a troll. Wow. But you know what? <laughs> I'm very happy with those Flareon cards and the V cards that I got before. Um, where is it? Okay. So really, really happy with these two Flareons. That was everything for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more unboxings from me, both Pokemon and Dragon Ball and some other good stuff, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.